Today on the 20th episode of the Happy Satellite Nerd, I, like, I will talk to you about how do you move your satellite dish and the controls and what hardware you will need to be able to do that. Today, on the Happy Satellite Nerd, I'd like to talk to you about the V-Box. Disc Q1 Positioner 90, 99 Memories for Disc Q1.1 and 1.2 Receiver Compatible. Works with any receiver via optimal, optional remote control. Compatible with any actuator or HH mount. Not exactly sure what an HH mount is, but Someone maybe might, might uh, educate me on that in the comments. 99 programmable memories, easy operation and quick installation, fine tuning function for better reception, anti-noise circuit to avoid miscount miscounting, circuit, short circuit and overload protection, that's great. Disc cue, disec and non-disec pos positioner, turn on off function, resync, synchronization function and it's heavy duty so this is what this is what you will need if you uh, have a c-band dish you will need a box like this that is wired to the actuator that will move the dish okay this is the front of the v box seven and it comes with this remote here that stores all your positions and your numbers so you can store many positions on it. But if in the case that you do lose your remote, it does have a backup where this simple on button and you can move the dish east or west to wherever you wanna have your dish pointed. And I've programmed some positions in. So for example, if I program in for that position, it'll just simply move the read sensor to the position 25. Position 25 is just simply 125 west on my geostationary setup. So the back of the box has a spot for you to put your uh, send to your receiver and another spot to your LMB. That is if you want to uh, run your receiver through this machine and control it with your receiver. So for example, when you go to a certain channel on a satellite, you can um, automatically have the V-Box tune that in. I personally, I don't uh, use that feature just simply because I like to be able to just control my dish and usually I just leave it parked where I want it and if I really want to move it, I will move it. And it has four wire outputs. It has uh, two terminals for your uh, motor power and then it has two other terminals which are for your sensor. So it just tells the read sensor exactly where it is on the actuator, So, which helps it to, when, you, when you've programmed those uh, satellites in, to know for the V-Box to know where the uh, satellite is and what position on that you're trying to aim at. So sometimes what I like to do with my receiver, I just take the information button on the receiver and I'll use the V-Box's remote. Now uh, I prefer to just do it this method where I just simply go uh, east or west to where I want to go until I've tuned the dish. So in this example, so just click over the dish there and it will just move over until the signal comes in and then the picture will come in for uh, the TV. Where it's hard to see on here, but. So 
so that I could see the signal and strength quality on the receiver. And you could just move your dish east or west until you get that fine tuned to the best that you can possibly get it. So I paid about $45 for this a few years ago when the Canadian dollar was higher. Um, but I've seen these uh, between $60, plus there's the shipping cost and all that. My review of this, I guess I could say I'm quite happy with it. It's worked, it's done what it's supposed to do. And now that I have this new actuator on, I can move all the way, uh, which would be like 127 degrees is where I, the furthest I can get. There's some trees facing there. And then I can get as that, but I can get about 55, 55 west with that on, on, my, on my setup. So it's a great little tool. Uh, something essential if you have a C-band dish so that you can be able to uh, move your satellite, move your dish to different satellites. That's all I have to say about that. So please like, subscribe, and uh, tell your friends and share these videos on, on social media and uh, help me uh, get this uh, channel. And if there's anything else you'd like me to do a video on that might not have been covered, please uh, g uh, give me a comment and I'll try to explain uh, what you'll need and uh, what to go through. And I'm looking forward to doing more and more satellite videos on how to get your free to air satellite channels with the V-Box. Ooh, the V-Box, the V-Box. Got banged up a little bit in shipping, but I love the V-Box. I love the V-Box. <laughs> I'm so smart. <laughs> Mwah.